Everybody say hi, not to YouTube, but just specifically to LaRoe. Pre-liked, I'm not subscribed. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, I'm cringe. I didn't subscribe. I wasn't already subscribed to him. No! Subscribe! A long ass time. So I figured, what better time than right now, huh? Hey, no better time to the present. Still plan on doing shorts and I'm gonna try and do one long form video a week. Uh, who knows? Let's mm -hmm. see how long that goes for, huh? But uh, the video I wanna talk about today, why elation, or to be more specific, follow up is the most fun. Now, here's essentially the general thing I'm gonna say about follow up. It's really fun because you're always doing something, and even if you're not, it's not your turn, something happens, you know? Someone's getting a pig thrown at them. Someone's getting a piece of chalk thrown at them. Someone's getting a robot shooting a super death beam in between their goddamn eyes or god. Follow up is good because Zoomer. Because it it, it make brain happy when more things happen. Very cool. God forbid. Is there another follow up? Wait, there's what? No, no, there's what? Dr. Ratio, Dr. Ratio, Topaz, Kara. So God forbid I come up and I do a follow up drop kick attack on that mother. Huh? Yeah, in the middle of the f***ing turn. What makes elation so fun, and I'm gonna try and give mm -hmm. 10 reasons and explain it to them. Now, the reason okay. why I think it's so OP, or not OP, fun, is I've got my doctor ratio on a pretty uh -huh. good, on pretty good pieces. Here's his relic set, affection. <laughs> Wait! How it feels to spread misinformation on the internet! Effect hit rate, slay. Rate, obviously. He's got 86.4% effective rate, which I think is essentially the average you kind of want to go for on this guy because yeah. you can hit a crit, right? And he gets 15% crit rate, 30% crit damage rate. That's 40, mm -hmm. that's 60% crit value for free. So he's mm -hmm. technically 76, 134. You take that and that's already a decent, that, that's already OP to be honest. I mean, how do you get more than 134% crit damage? Me personally, I don't fucking know. But Dr. Ratio allows you to go and affect hit rate. Bro is spreading crazy misinformation. As a unknown, you know, genius guide maker, right? A relatable genius guide maker. I know that he's on this like effect hit rate thing, and I I get it, dude. I understand. Like getting that chalk to stick is so so important when you're playing Doctor Ratio. If you can't get your 130 crit damage, which is a skill issue, my personal suggestion: go ahead and just do uh, healing effectiveness body. Healing is effectiveness body will do so much more for you. If you don't have all of the stats that you need, skill issue. Go ahead and just get a little bit of extra healing on those follow ups because he's not gonna do any damage, right? Like me personally. It's just like, get that healing effectiveness going, and it's really, really, really gonna help you a lot more than this effect hit rate. I personally like Tankeron a lot. I think it's a super, super, super strong build. Um, however, if you are going to build um, a tank, I think that Sustain Himiko is actually a super, super good option. And I think a lot of people sleep on that because of her red hair or something. I don't know. Um, they just they just don't really get like, they don't really get what she's going for. Like people just stay looking way too close at like what they actually scale off of and what their abilities do and stuff. So if we go ahead and we get her, um, we get Himiko on that sustain roll, you're gonna want her to shield. I think it's gonna be way better for you than Akron, way better than really better than Aventry and better than Fushuan. I think people are really, really sleeping on that Himiko. Which essentially turns him into a, what I call a DPS support, which I think is really fun. And mm -hmm. he's really fing hot. And he's got red eyeshadow, and that makes me weak. And hey, that's kind of gay. Why are you saying that men are hot? Sounds kind of gay to me. <laughs> Classic O plus ratio. Now the next mm -hmm. reason why I think follow up is really fun. Uh huh. Okay. Now people Valid. will be like, oh they nerfed it. Oh they nerfed it. I'm gonna be honest. This is the very first good point that Blood has had this entire th time. Ass. Mm hmm. Ass. Oh they they nerfed it. That's like taking a nuclear bomb and turning mm -hmm. it into just a little ballistic missile. Into just a, just mm -hmm. a little hand grenade. Bro, this shit's still the fucking bakery. Bitch. Still great. <laughs> Topaz and Doctor Ratio, in my opinion, are two of the so coolest base. design characters in the game. And there's just something really cool about the idea of throwing a pig at somebody. You know, you train your pig and you grab it by the front, you grab by the front hooves, you throw that <laughs> and it's trained to just twirl around, saw them, bro. How the f*** you gonna stop a fly, a fly and spinning pig? It's like pig NATO. How, how you goes? You also get to do stonks. You throw pig and ult and it goes, investing in victory means playing the long game. Ah! And the pig does stonks for you. And that's very Poggers epic style because it gives you money in real life slept on aspect of the character's kit. Not only does Topaz help you find chests, you get money in the mail every time you do that shit. It's crazy. Stop that. There's no martial arts for that. How are you gonna stop that? Same thing for Dr. Ratio. It's like that one scene where the, where the chick throws the chalk at someone's face. How do you stop that? Like, who's prepared for that? No one. No one's prepared no one. for that. But uh, yeah, Dr. Ratio Topaz, super hot. And the light cones for follow-up, I feel like are- Wait, is that Dr. Ratio's light cone? 
Deadass, I've never seen it in my life. Okay, I did not see the vision until this exact moment. I now understand why my chat talks incessantly about choking on his chalk all the time. I get it now. I, me personally, nerd. St but I do understand much better. Wowee. He's got a rubber ducky in there. Slay. Typically, or I guess specifically Topaz is like. <sighs> there is such a focus on feet in this game and I don't like it. It is very obviously a nerf on Topaz that the feet is in the light cone and I don't want any more feet. So um, light cone bad, feet is bad. It's probably the best light cone in the whole goddamn game. Straight up, no cap. I'm gonna say that with my chest. This might be the best light cone in the whole game overall that you could put on pretty much everybody. That's 36. Well, it doesn't go on everybody because it's a hunt light cone. So we're just gonna lie. It's It can't go on everybody because you can't put it on Bailu. So it's really not that good and it's not that usable. I don't know why bro is like lying. I guess it's like, honestly, in my opinion, it's obvious that he just is like, he just has a skill issue. If it can't go on Bailu and also on Topaz, mm, I don't know that it really works that way. 6% crit value. And if they're follow-up, even better. It's not better. that good. Well, I guess they kind of, do they have to follow up? Okay, so yeah, they, they kind of have to be, have a follow-up. But I mean- So hard, hard. again, it doesn't, it doesn't go on everyone. So, so we're just lying on the internet, right? This is not a good light cone. It doesn't go on everybody. Liar. How hard is that to get, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, she, th this light cone's insane. Even just for the crew, it's, it's, it's a stat stick, which makes it so OP. And it places a debuff, which kind of freaking hot, in my opinion. Now, something else okay. about follow-up. Herda is also included on there. And so is Himiko. P pure fiction worst characters in the game. Not even that good for pure fiction. This is complete and entire misinformation. They are not good characters. Do not build them. I mean, first of all, Himiko's a standard character and she's a redhead, which means she's bad and has no soul. But Herda comes with the account, which means it's also bad. So yeah, no, don't build these characters. This is, this is, oh my God, he's fucking lying, bro. I mean, with these two, more like, more like partial reality. Am I right? Yeah, it's uh -uh. pure fiction. A joke with these two. Um, now that's pretty much all. I mean, honestly, if you need specific characters to, to finish pure fiction, that's like early game content. Why do you even need relics to finish pure fiction? Like, hello? Literally just use March by herself with no relics, idiot. Ugh. The characters that follow up has access to at the moment. With adventuring coming out, uh, our adventure is going to be freaking busted. And we I plan on getting his light cone. So my follow the follow up team is going to be insane. Follow up is super strong or going to be super. This, I just want to note that this is only the second good take, but adventuring is not good with follow up teams. So like adventuring cool, adventuring strong, pull for adventuring. Adventuring, not good with follow-up teams. It's okay. It's his, he's, he's trying his best. This is misinformation though. We're strong and it's already really strong. And it's really fun. And to be honest, yabba dooba, glabba, glubba glor, glebob. And the support you can go for it is pretty- Facts no printer on God. Flexible. You can go Fushuan if you need crit rate. Ruan Mei is great. Me personally, I'm going slow effect. If you don't use Ruan Mei uh, and you have her, um, can, can you, um, uh, can you give her to me? <laughs> like, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't want to use her, like, can you give me her? Please, 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 please. If you don't, if you, if you think she's not good, please. Crit rate ratio with Sparkle, and by the time everything's said and done, he typically gets around 240 crit damage with a 100 crit rate when all is said and done. In theory. Okay, but again, effective healing. Need to know. You can even go Ruan Mei, and she's great with them because you can get Glamoth and all that good shit. Kara, I mean, I'm not gonna cap. Mm. For me, she's kind of fell off. No cap. I mean, I'm just gonna keep it a book. But um, she also does good when I need Kara her. Kara cute situations. though. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like, MOC, Kara, but, but but like Baglar is cute though. But she's cute. She looked like Ilya from Fate. The I am the bone of my war wiener. I'm. You can't use characters that I like and I don't get to use. You or you can't not use them if you have them. You have to use them. It's not fair. Uh, weakness and all that. Adventuring and Dr. Ratio are adventure Dr. Ratio. You could even include Blade in a follow-up comp. Hey shit, in theory, we're on this theory. You could include Blade in a follow-up comp. I mean I don't think that you should play follow-up, but if you did, you should use Blade because he's very tall and hot, and therefore you get a buff for having sexy people on the team. Sexy people buff is real in, in Honkai Star Rail. It's about 15% general damage buff. Get this bitch on Salsado. He's, he, hey, Blade is a follow-up character. Get Blade in there. Blade, Dr. Ratio, Adventuring. No. Three of the hottest dudes in all of Honkai Star. If not the- Why are you talking about hot dudes? Why are you talking about, why, 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 why we gotta talk, keep talking about men being attractive? That's gay. That's why I only wish for women characters. Because if I, if I thought men were attractive, that would be gay. 
three hottest dudes in all of Hongestaro. I'm sorry, Luocha, you're, you're still, you're still like, kind of, you're, you're still hot. No, mid, 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 mid. In terms of hotness, it's giving mid, and it's, 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 it's giving sort of uh, like a shoujo love interest to me that I, and I'm not into it. It's mid, mid, mid. My favorite. I like Luocha a lot. But Topaz and uh, the follow-up characters are really growing on me. And Zila, oof, I'll save that for a different video. That's rough. And the part that I kind of forgot to mention is... Zila is clearly the best character in the game and still better than Acheron. So I don't know what that means, but go on. Follow up is objectively, and this this isn't like up for debate. It is the most fun in Simuni because seeing Numby hit for 1.2 million is honestly just the coolest shit in the whole game. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. And seeing it like Acheron, right? Coolest looking ult, pretty much in any gacha of all time, in my opinion. I would say Akron's ult is the coolest in any gacha of all time. The problem is her hitting. The okay, but have you seen Kaching from Genshin Impact? It's literally just Akron's ult, but like way better. I mean, you can say like what your opinion is, but saying it as fact is like super cringe. Also, I, I think that I you don't like the same Power Ranger as me, and that means that you're wrong and bad. That much? It makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, Akron is supposed no. to do a million damage because she takes you to the fucking Shadow Realm. All right, she has right. Mordecai's role, but on the whole enemy team. All right, it's supposed to do millions and billions of damage. How hard is Dr. Ratio throwing a piece of chalk to be hitting someone for 2.5 million damage? How, how, how fast? If he's doing that much damage, you've not built him correctly. Like, Ratio is better built as a support. That's why we put effective healing on him, healing effectiveness on him. So if he's doing that much damage, you fucked up somewhere. This is Numby spinning to hit a motherfucker for 1.2 million. I mean, just keeping it a buck, right? I That's mean, how, how on earth? And I do find follow-up to be pretty easy to farm for, for the most part, because realistically, mm -hmm. all you need is either Glamoth or Salsado, which are both... Salsado is a little rough to farm for, I'm not going to count. But Glamoth, I find very easy to farm for. And mm -hmm. the diving set is the best on every DPS in the whole game. Anyone can use it. That kind of goes for any... Okay, but if you don't have 5 billion speed, how are you going to take advantage of Glamoth? So go ahead and run me the speed stats, because if you don't have 200 speed, you are not going to get benefit out of that, okay? Thank you. Any sort Thank of you. DPS, but uh, Thank yeah, I think you. when Adventure comes out, hey, Hunt, Hunt is going to be going to be getting up there, IMO, because Top Hunt is the worst path in the game. Topaz and Dr. Ratio, they're just such a good combo. And to be honest, if you didn't pull for Topaz at the first rerun, or the first run, you f***ing trolled. All right, big guy, I'm going to just say it, all right? She is... Okay, I understand the hotness buff is there. The Topaz is super hella mid, like... <laughs> <laughs> Build wise, Topaz super hella uber mid. Pull for her if you pull for waifu. Pull for her if you like red. Pull for her if you're a fan of Numbi. And pull for her if you're a fan of stonks. If you want the money, damage wise, whack take. This was even, I had no leaks, no nothing. I pulled Topaz because I'm a fing Chad and I pulled for big fat fing ass. And she's the hottest <laughs> character in the whole game. And I don't think that's up for debate. Actually. No, that's not true because Widowy Ruan May is Widowy the hottest character in the game. That's actually spreading misinformation on the internet, non debatably. And the fact that she drugs you, don't come at me in the comments. Yeah, she drugs you. I'm fine with that. Acheron, she's got the badass hotness. I'm kind of going on a yeah. side track here, but she's got the badass hotness. She, she's hot. Ruan May. She's okay, first actual genuine take. I don't think I don't think Acheron's that hot. <laughs> <laughs> In her ult, I think she's hot, for sure. In her ult, I think she's hot. But when, like, she's just around, I don't like her outfit that much. Her outfit is not really that slay. I guess if you like tummy, sure. But like, on God, I just don't think she's all that. Ruan May is so pretty, dude. Ruan May, if I lose my 50-50 on your banner, know that I will spend a million dollars to get to get you anyway. I'll swipe. She's got the elegant hotness. Branya, I'm good. Topaz, yeah. super hot. Zila, I'm good. Tingyun, pretty fing hot. Himik. Tingyun is so hot. Go pretty fing hot. Gunaifen, also pretty hot. Literally, yeah. Yukog, Mami. But Topaz, she's just the best. I think Gunaifen gives cute, personally. Like, I don't think it's giving hot. I don't think it's necessarily giving sexy. We need to be more clear about our, our, um, about our categories of women in this game. We need to be more clear about that shit. Because we're just saying words at complete random and not taking into account what those words mean. I would say Topaz is hot. Ruan May is beautiful. And Gwenaifen is cute. And if we could keep it to those appropriate categories rather than just slanging words all over the place, we can limit the misinformation in this game. And she comes with all these freaking cats. How can you possibly That's not true. look at this? This is the best light cone art in the whole game. It's just hard because I feel like the light cone art is so foot. It's so foot. Why did it display the arch of her foot so specifically? I don't like it. 
Tell, tell me why it's not. Tell me why this isn't the best Lycon art in the whole game. That, I mean, to be honest, I can't really think of a whole lot else for elation. Nihili, I think, is also really fun because shit happens when it's not your turn. You know, people That's blow true. up. You, you give people SEDs. You give them freaking gonorrhea from a distance and they just <laughs> slowly whittle away in front of you. And it's got Kafka Black Swan, which are really hot. But elation, I don't know, man. I'm still using this shit and it's still fun as fuck. And people who say Dr. Ratio is good, to be honest, they're wrong. It's because everybody goes crit value. Based! Based! Holy basin! Base, 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 base! Finally! Bitches agree with me! Dog shit character. Body on him. And you need to go fetch it, Rafe. Because when Dr. No. But it is better than how most people built him, I will say that. Is it optimal to have the effect hit rate body? No, it is better than how most people build him because the way most people build him is just like a complete misunderstanding of how the character works. Guys, if you're looking at stats, please get on the next level. If you're looking at all the percentages about like what they scale off of and all of this shit. Theory crafters, please get better because y'all don't understand the game literally at all. Build healing effectiveness on Dr. Ratio and you're gonna pug out of your mind. Richard throws this truck. How is it gonna hit if you don't have effect hit rate? Hey, riddle me that, Batman. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanna talk about. We could just get the effect hit rate from substats though, no? You know what I mean? I mean, hey shit, that was fun for me. Uh, I'm pretty much just gonna try and do a bunch of different styles of videos and shit in the future. Dr. Ratio, holy shit, wait, a secret benefit of Dr. Ratio. Wait, did y'all see that? Wait, no. That way he just cranked his shit live on my screen. I was gonna make that, oh my God, him and Topaz are fucking, okay, cool. Anyway, everybody go subscribe to LaRoe and also um, give him all the support in the world because he's kind of like the best. But yeah, I mean, basically like all but about two of the takes in this were complete nonsense. And that's all right. He's trying his best. Uh, he's not really at my level of like professional theory crafter. And that's all right. We all will get there eventually. We don't have to send him no hate. We don't have to tell him the KYS. We don't have to do any of that stuff. We can just correct him in the comments. Effect healing on the body is way better for Dr. Ratio. But goodbye, YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.